Hi guys, every month we release ISOs and every month you got a video how to update your system. In this case, from March, uh, from February to March was no issue at all, not even an arch link skiering issue. On our question for yes, no, so cool, nothing to really report on that matter, but we've been doing some work in the month of March, uh, February, sorry. <laughs> so what will you get? And the release on the 1st of March and at this point in time, you can already have the ISOs. Yes, AAG. Some people wanted to know what is actually AAG, right? That is actually helping us. We have, oh, sorry. We have um, lots of users, but not lots of beta testers. A beta tester is really someone that's fully committed and that says, okay, I'm gonna keep with Arcanix and I'm gonna test all year long or years in plural. And AAGs, I have sometimes some time and I'll test it and I'll report back if it's okay or if there are issues, right? So this is more a casual kind of, if I got time, I'll test it. And that's the AAG, all right? It's also helping. It's just not that much of a commitment. It's just sporadically. This is the beta testers. So on the arcanlix.info website, so the information website is where we tell you how, uh, yeah, information about releases and about uh, what is Arcanlix and stuff like that. Start here. It is always the same approach. Start here is also on Arcanlix. Here are all the desktops, all the 30 desktops. Here's how you build ISOs and here's all about start from scratch and build your own ISO called Carly and the form. The decision I've made is now that we are going to release all the core ISOs, which is was, has been always the case, right? Because these are the extra large ISO with all the possible interesting um, applications, of course, our choice. And this is the XS, which means extra small, like in clothing. So just one browser and, and lots of things not present. And all the rest is a kernel, which is important because it refers to the hardware that you have. Some kernels work better on some machines. So you choose which kernel you uh, works best on your system for whatever purpose and functionality that you need on that OS. And the D is for the very, very in, well ex expert guys who have been years on Linux and on Arch Linux and know what package you really need and can fix anything. So the bees is something that actually should be built by you, right? Actually, it should not build, be built by me or by us because the Arcanlix B stands for build your own ISO. You wanted to have a possibility to build an ISO with your packages, your choice. I want to have Vivaldi. I want to have code instead of sublime text and so on, right? So all of the desktops that we have, like 30-ish, right, can be installed, can be, can be built, can be changed. So you have a personal ISO. That's the point of the build your own ISO, of the bees. Nevertheless, right, we built them for you, we test them for you, and I've decided to make it sort of rolling system. Not every single month, everything, but some of them, and later on, the ones that we've missed in, in uh, March now, in April, we'll do the rest of them, which is over the health, I think. Uh, we are already, so the lesser known things uh, will be inst well will be built. So that's that. That's a change for sure. We already have 3,300 videos, so it's a lot of things. Do check out also playlists. I lost um, yesterday, I, get, I think. I've made a video about i3. So i3 is a wonderful, well, tiling winner manager. And I've changed a few things in this page. Here is information, but we use playlists. There is not much to do. I search wise, you can't do much on YouTube, but I can make playlists. So you, if you're interested in, in building kernels, there will be a playlist. If you're interested in Pac-Man, there will be a playlist. And same thing here. I can organize 
videos, 3,300 videos, right? I can organize them in playlists. So you have already a focus on, on awesome or PSPWM or something like that. So do check out if there are playlists available. Okay, so that's also new and that's an important bit, of course, because this finding the information is, is crucial and the websites are there and YouTube is the default channel where we put our videos. What's new? Okay, let's go. Since August 22, well, we've seen the lead developer go away, right? Calamaris is now without its lead developer. And that has its consequences. There has not been a stable release for Calamaris 3.2 yet. So I think it was 61 that we're stuck on. And I said, okay, there's no need to wait any longer. I'm gonna try out the code from 3.3, so a new branch. And after dozens of installation without any issues, we said, okay, let's freeze the code that we have now and use that as our Calamars installer. So all is well. In the meantime, the F2FS, which is a formatting system, is also back in, in play. So we have a choice between X4, ButterFS, RiserFS, XFS, JFS, and now F2FS. Choice is important, we think, on Arch Linux, because choice is the freedom of Linux. And some distros don't give you the choice in Calamars. I do not appreciate that. So I will never, well, I'll, well, never say never. <laughs> that's that's something I've learned in Arconix. But if there is the possibility to give you a choice and there will be no frustrations and no repercussions, then yes, then we'll, we'll include it. Why not? Right? Okay. Use a riser to create your own personal ISO. That's an important bit, but it's maybe too soon. Right? There are people who start really too soon. What do I mean by too soon? We have a, a learning path. Doing such things is, requires so much knowledge, really so much knowledge. So first think about taking for, small steps, baby steps, I call them always, and then you start to walk and then you start to run and then a marathon, but not the other way around, right? So this is super interesting, knowing already that the story will never end. That if you get more and more and more knowledge, if you stick to Arcanlix and watch videos regularly, you get you get to become an expert, right? And in the end, you get your own ISO. And all the information can be found here. Under 60 minutes, we've created a new ISO that you control. And in this case, we've chosen Plasma. It could be one of the 30, right? You choose. And later on, I've installed CHDWM on it. So it's always an, a good idea to have something that always works and then maybe a tiling winner manager rather than having a tiling winner manager. Because you make a typo or something wrong, well, you're in a TTY, you're in a black screen and you don't have anything graphical. It's just going to be a black screen and then you need to fix it. That requires maybe a little bit more expertise than having plasma as a or cinnamon or gnome or right a desktop as a backup how to put your personal configuration on the Arconix ISO I thought it was time to um, make again a video to explain hmm right maybe we should do this make a copy of config the, the folders that you have look at them control H in Thunar, right? Super Shift Enter. If you do Control H, this is looking okay, but, right? But the actual configuration is there, and maybe there, right? I'm thinking about Plasma. Most of the things are here. Then again, Xmonad is dot Xmonad, <laughs> so get to know the desktops. Use the alias person to copy paste the content of your personal folder to your home directory only today somebody asked me what's the personal folder doing there right here it is personal we've added the folder to your linux system the folder is called personal it's on your root so slash personal the idea is to put elements in there that you want to use later on your personal built iso 
So we give you all the possible data and, and knowledge to build your own ISO. And on your own ISO, you can put anything in the personal folder. If you want to have four gigabytes of wallpapers in there, be my guest. It's your personal ISO. If you want to build, add pre-built packages in there because they're huge or you don't want to rebuild them any, every single time you make a clean install, put it in there. Anything goes. And then we have this alias that says copy paste everything from the personal to the home directory. Done. Just type personal. And everything that's in personal will be copy pasted over the dot config, the dot local, whatever is in there. Pictures. Okay. So again, a reminder, guys, this exists, has been there for some time. And here we're on Xmonad, I see how to get the personal configuration, personal. And there's a video about that we have Xmonads. Uh, sorry, Xen not what I'm saying. Um, voila, build any Arclix B with LTS or Zen or Xenmod. Right, now it comes back to me. All the Bs are basically Linux kernels. Some of us have issues with the Linux kernel. They need the Linux LTS or the Zen or why not the Zen mod. And that's what's explained here. You can build any Arch Linux B ISO with any kernel, if you have some knowledge, right? If you follow the video. So that's another idea. Having another kernel bootable, right? That's important to boot, not from the Linux kernel, but for Linux LTS, so it recognizes already all the hardware. All right, goal, I want to build Arc Linux B so I can boot it up with either. Okay, I hope that's clear. And here we see some examples. Here's LTS, another example, how it's done. This can be deleted, I'll do that later. I see there are some doubles sometimes. He does that, 392, yep. I'll clean it up. Focusing on encryption, not as a developer, but as a user, right? In my book, encryption is not that important. I test it because it's possible on Calamaris, and I just wanted to know how is Calamaris doing its work, how is Archlinx doing its work, and how is Ariser doing its work. They're all different. Ariser is Arch Linux plus scripts. And Arch Linux is, right? Arch Linux plus configs. But we use Calamaris. So overall, the seconds are more or less the same. So the boot time, I mean that in, in that case. And Ariser and Arch have Lux 2 and Arch Linux. So Calamaris has Lux 1 by default. And that's it, nothing more. And there are four videos, four tests that I've made. So what is new? This is gonna be replaced and the guys from Belgium recognize this brut thing. So it's a one of the tests, um, well, signals that we got on our TVs when we were young, actually. So this is what's new and this is how to update your system, which has been created already. So this is how we work. Arclinx provides monthly what's new, how to stay up to date. If they're technical things, we'll explain them. And gradually, right? If you've got time, watch some videos, focus on the things that interest you. Because sometimes people ask me, how should we work, right? How we should we proceed? Well, basically there is everywhere a start here. Read the start here. And then come to the other website, and then again, there is a start here. And then you have Arclinx D, which is all about desktops. Again, start here. So, in the end, it's up to you to know what interests you, because that's the longest way you stick on Linux. Learn what interests you. If it's today conkeys, then it's conkeys. Tomorrow kernels, then it's kernels, right? It's if you want to know about uh, Calamaris and all its options, then it's going to be that. It's just choose what interests you. And as you see here, here are all the facts. Anything that's 
is commonly asked, so the 80% of the questions, right? How to burn the ISO, how to install uh, Arch Linux, what's Scala all about, and how to do stuff in VirtualBox. It's all here. These are the facts. Voila, so those are the new things, and I hope you enjoy Arch Linux, and maybe there is something to be said to include in this video that if you are, and that's, I think, a sound rule, if you've been on Arch Linux already for a year or so, maybe, right, start thinking about donating. And Patreon is actually something we can rely on in the sense that it's a steady income. That's important for any distro. So if you're an old distro, fine, but support open source because servers cost money, websites cost money. And um, it's important that we can have this feeling, okay, in the, the future is safe, right? We got a steady flow of income and that's Patreon. But of course, a one-time PayPal is great as well. All right or liver pay. Cheers for now. Enjoy the university because basically it's a university without papers, right? <laughs> There's no diploma to be get. But I do hear from people that it helps, right? Saying, yes, I'm working at Calix and a beta tester. I'm doing all kinds of things. And it does, whoop, I should reload this thing. It will uh, help you to, well, you have something in coming to talk about during interviews. <laughs> All right. Cheers.